Hi, I'm Spectre, and if you're watching this video, it's probably because you're interested or you have bought a Supercore. The Supercore stands for Spectre's Ultimate Pneumatic Exhaust Ram, and even though it's not actually the ultimate, it's pretty damn close. So, what comes in the Supercore package is this receiver and the Supercore itself. The idea is that your barrel will thread into the receiver, like so. Very similar to how jet barrels do. And the pusher will interface with that, creating an airtight seal for this to fire. We'll come more to this later. First of all, you should know that inside the supercore is a quick exhaust diaphragm, a piston which is linked to the bolt, and a spring, so it will automatically retract. This part will cover the servicing of the supercore. You will need some sort of long nose pliers. I use circlip pliers to open the front end and just put your two circlip plier points into the two holes in the front of the supercore and twist. The cap is not tightened on too much. It should come off fairly easily. Then you should be free to pull out the piston. As you can see, nice and smooth. If it does not come out smoothly, there's something wrong. So when you need to service it, you will need to get yourself some silicon oil. Now, it's not particularly important, but for the highest cycling speed, I use 100 centipoise silicon oil. Just dab a little bit on the entire O-ring, and then dab some on the inside of the bolt as well, because inside the supercore is a stem that also has an O-ring seal, and this keeps the O-ring on the inside of that stem lubricated as well. Once you've done all that, you can put it back in, and you have serviced your supercore. If you want to go a little bit further, you can also clean the back end. You don't need to do this, it should be stay fairly clean. But if you play in a lot of dirty conditions, then it might create some issues for you later on with cycling reliability, and it may leak if you get too much dirt inside. So, for that, it's very similar to how you service a Specs BZ. So if you're watching this and you have a Specs BZ, it's the same process. A 16 size screwdriver onto the wrench flats and just loosen that off. You can see that o-ring comes out nice and smooth. If this is tight or if this is for whatever reason rubbing then apply some uh, silicon to the actual threads themselves that will prevent the pinning because aluminium on aluminium is a bad thing. As you can see the surface of the diaphragm is really nice and smooth and should be clean because this one hasn't been used at all yet so that should be all good. You can just thread that back in. That's literally as easy it is as it is to service a supercore. If you want to go one step further, this isn't necessary and it will change over time. You can apply a little bit of o-ring, uh, a little bit of silicon to your pusher o-ring, and this will just increase the cycling speed when you hit your barrel. Now, when assembling your barrel, it's very important that you don't gunk up these threads. Now, what I mean by gunk up is that because it's an aluminium on aluminium interface, and even with anodized barrels, you're still gonna get this, the aluminium will actually flake against itself and that will create little micro particles that will actually gum up the thread and prevent it from locking, or it will lock up early and it still won't seal. If it locks up early, it won't seal, but that's not the end of the world. Uh, these receivers can still operate with the, the barrel hanging out here, it's just gonna be a little bit more wobbly. If you want to seal this up nice and carefully, then what I recommend is actually getting some white lithium grease, which I don't have on hand for this, and just apply some to that, and then thread it in, or get yourself some white thin Teflon tape, thinnest you can find. Apply one wrap to the first couple of threads, and then thread it in. Because if you get too much thick Teflon tape on these threads, then it will cre increase the rubbing, and it will pin early, and you'll have a another world of issues. So that's all I've got for servicing your Supercore. I hope that you enjoy using it. And if you have any other questions, feel free to contact me at Spectre's Nerf Workshop on Facebook.